Hello again, it's That's No Moon here, back once again for the final of this grand arena. We're playing for the Amigas, which is always super useful, uh, but it's more about the pride on this one. So we've got Mamau Nadon, he had his Revan in arena and he had his um, Galactic, sorry, Sith Empire. The, he had the pretty good Revan, HK, Basti, Sith Trooper, etc. So... And all those geos as well. Um, he has penetrated us so far. He has cleared the board and scored 1662. So we're going to have to get a little bit inventive with our squads. And he's blue through everything. The one that did hold that I didn't think would hold was Phoenix. So we're in with a shout, boys. This is going to be a close one. And on defense on ships, we just chucked in our Galactic Republic. I'm not sure if I'm going to get through that on the first time of asking, so it may be even be the second or third time of asking. But we'll see if we can be a little bit efficient. We we have always done better on our characters. So let's get into it. And we're going to have to get squeeze every single last banner out of this one. So I'm thinking let's go for Basti, some Rebels, and we'll go the terrible trio uh, along with maybe they could probably do it with three uh, I don't think there's a huge amount of DPS in that squad but I actually quite like the addition of C3PO in there just because he sort of gets them to attack a lot more and the more they attack uh, the more health and protection they're going to get back so this is going to be a tight one, um, but we'll see what we can do anyway. The main threat here is Ezra Bridger. Let's see if we can get rid of that at all. Buff immunity, there we go. Le there's not a huge amount out there at the moment, so let's throw a stun into Basti if we can. That um, tenacity up, serving them well, and there's the main threat. Let's now go over to Bastila Shan. Oh, I'm all over the place on this one, boys. Because there is a real chance that if we can be efficient here with our banners, as I said, I don't even know if we're going to get through those ships, but we will try our we will try our absolute best to get through. Uh, can I ignore? No, I can't. Let's just do a basic there. Let's take some turn meter off Qui-Gon if we can. Let's put some buffs up, get some of that protection back maybe. And let's finish off Qui-Gon if we can. Uh, just while C-3PO is charging up try and get some extra banners for the boys okay 60 banners there we'll take that we need a high average on this one and we've got some tough defense in here as well i think bounty hunters we did well last time with our empire and our sith so let's keep up that and let's go with probably Thrawn as well. Let's go Vader. Let's jump over to Sith. Put in our Bastila Shan Fallen. And let's also look at putting in... Mm, that's probably all right, but I do like the debuffs that Grand Moff Tarkin puts in as well. Bounty Hunters are a tough team. I don't want to give many excuse at two shotting any of these as well. So let's get some. Uh, who's got the most there? Greedo and Cad Bane. Let's go straight in for Greedo. Let's put that fear out there. Let's throw that turn meter over. Get those stuns on the board. Hopefully it's a triple stun. <clears throat> let's control that turn meter. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's now go to work on, he's stunned, so let's go to work on Cad Bane. Let's put a shark maybe over here. Those thermal detonators are going to come out from... Uh, 
Denka any minute now. Ah, that's annoying. Let's top off some protection. Let's put those stuns in. Let's just go with basic here. Let's control the turn meter. Let's put another fracture in here. Let's go back to work on Dengar. Could do with a little bit more protection maybe on <clears throat> Grand Moff Tarkin or Vader. So let's top these boys up. There we go, 58 banners. So we lost two banners there. But Bounty Hunter's never a joke. Okay, so first order, we need some extra banners. Let's go resistance here, play it nice and safe. Let's go with some big damage, and let's also try and control that turn meter. Uh, argument to be had here for Finn instead of Scavenger Ray, but she does some huge, huge damage. Poe will be hopefully quick enough to control that turn meter as well so let's get right off the gate and let's go to work on kylo ren and mars we've got an ability block on there which is great let's go to work on first order tie pilot he deals a lot of damage let's just use a normal here let's put an ability uh, a buff immunity rather so he can't get his uh, retribution up Let's now go into work on First Order Stormtrooper. Let's put in some big damage here. And we need to get going with... <clears throat> well, we'll wave that off first. We need to get some Illuminated Destiny on the go. Let's try and deal with Kylo Ren while he hasn't got his Retribution up. There we go, get some extra protection up, control that turn meter. And let's put in a finisher there, nearly. Okay, let's put some baddies over there and let's go into work here on First Order Stormtrooper. We may, may just be able to get Illuminate Destiny off again, possibly. No, okay. 57 banners so now we need some good banners from the rest of these battles i'm thinking interesting lineup there with nest always an, an annoyance in that night sister team i have had a look at the the mods and yeah we forgot to mod old daka so she is uh 143 speed at the moment i did have a look at that earlier karth is always a tough one and and then we've got Treya in there as well we've got grievous which we cannot overlook at all and then night sister so there's no easy battles from here on out the mission on uh, sorry the zeta on mission and zalba is always going to be tough but i'm thinking we take in some Sith ourselves, just make sure I've got the right battle here. So Karth, we want to take in our Sith, I think. And maybe even just something like that. Maybe go in with four. I mean, the triumvirate here may even be okay. Let's get some of these cooldowns started. Let's isolate. Yeah, let's isolate Zalbar, I guess. Let's get rid of that offense up on Karth. That's why Sith Troopers in there. Let's put a big hit in over here with Jahani. And let's start going to work on Karth. A lot of attacks coming in. Let's get that 
ability drain there again. That's why I love Sith Trooper. He's so, so tanky. Okay, so who do we want to take out now? Probably Zalba. Oh boy, that's a lot of dots. Continuing the onslaught there. But he's doing exactly the job we put him in to do. Can he withstand? Uh, let's go to work on... Oh, can he withstand? Right, let's... Actually, put some protection back there. Let's get some Held by Hatred up. Let's get rid of that crit chance. Actually, I probably don't want to attack Candorus if he's got counter-attack. And mm, I may just play this one out rather than the Annihilate. I may just play this one out to get Sith Trooper's health back. Fifty-eight banners. Okay, so it's pretty good there. And that's always a tough one to go against. Let's now try. So what's the speed on his? Oh, well he's got a speed set on there at least. At least he's got the four on. Uh, right, let's go in with our Jedi. And I'm so, so surprised that we didn't have to face his Revan and his Darth Revan on defense. Um, do I just want to go this? Or do I want to take in a full five? I think this will probably be okay. Don't really need, I think I've got the DPS there with Yoda. Don't think I need to take him five. Could well be wrong. Um, let's go straight into Darth Nihilus, I guess. And we are just banking on lots and lots of turns here. Let's put that foresight out there. Let's put in some big hits against Darth Nihilus. And that's the main threat, I guess. That stun doesn't help, so let's bring him back into play. Let's get some foresight out there. Let's go in at Darth Treyer here, I think. Got to be a little bit careful with Yoda's health there. He's taking lots and lots of turns. Let's try and finish off Treya. There we go. Let's now call in Yoda again. Put that foresight out there. Protection up. <clears throat> now we might have to go through Scion twice. There we go. Not a surprise. Let's put some protection up there. Let's get that heal up. There we go, 58 banners. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm thinking Imperial Troopers here. 
Uh, fastest is going to be Zombie at 194. His towel's in was 194. So they'll go to 224. And then 208, so he'll be 238. I think that's actually faster than my Imperial Troopers. Let me have a look. Well, no going back now. What's my Stark? 249, but I can't remember if I've remodded him before locking. So we'll soon find out. Okay, I'm actually going to leave that as the last battle. Here I'm going to go with a scoundrel lead. Got to be a little bit careful with that general grievous with the stuns. And let's maybe put in a tank. I think that'll probably be all right against this team. Gene Ocean Spy is a little bit, uh, hits really, really hard with the special, I think. So, and I've got to watch out for that stun as well. So let's put some days out. Oh, I mean a stun rather. I was going to put some days out there. Let's throw some stagger out there. Let's get rid of that turn meter. Get some rid of all that turn meter. There we are, that's B2 dealt with. Now, if we can, we'll go into work against Grievous. Get a stun of our own in there. Don't think we can finish him off with that hit. That's the big hit that I was worried about on uh, Nest. Nice, okay, let's go through some fact now. Nice. Let's try and get some health back there. I think we're just shy of full health on L3. Nice, that might have got it. 59 banners. I will take that. That's a really potential tripwire team. Okay, and let's go now with Night Sisters with the Heartbreak Kids. And I'm going to rely on Death Troopers' death mark here. I have had a look at the tenacity. There's only about 3.6%. Uh, no, we weren't quicker. Let's get rid of that taunt. Let us go into Dakar. Let's put that AOE out there. Guess that's the only annoying thing really about having Nest in that squad. A lot of counter attacks. Let's actually try and get rid of old Dakar here. There we go. So that's a big move with the death mark. She won't be coming back. Let's put in some work there again. And let's try and finish off Asage here. Let's go back into Mother Talzin. Let's finish off these pesky night sisters. And now we just play the waiting game, unfortunately. Don't want to stagger there. Let's try for that death mark. Nice, 57 banners. These Imperial Troopers have been putting in work. But the real test is going to be my subpar ships. Let me just work out how many banners I need here. I'll be back in two seconds. Bear with me. Okay, so this is what it all comes down to. We need 40 banners. 
from this ship and this is the grand arena win however what is in our way is an absolute wall of bosk seven star and bigs and that millennium falcon as well i'm not sure if i can get through it on the first time of asking Ah uh, boy here we go let me and again i know i'm going to get shouted at in the comments here because i i really really don't really know what ships are best counters i can only do with what i've got to work with i'm going to put cassian ship in there i think because a guildy david told me that is that cassian it is he told me that this d dispels all debuffs on enemies inflicts offense down and defense down um so if I can just get Millennium Falcon and then absolutely barrage it, we might be in with a chance here. We will see, though. And let's go Ghost as well. That does work. Absolute work. I'm not too bothered about Ty Reaper here. I know it does dispel taunts and stuff, but both of them are going to be up. Um, so this is it. Into the Breach. Come on, boys, 40 banners. That's all we need. Um, yeah, let's put some work in here first. Okay, there it is. Let's go into work on Bosk. Let's put some damage in. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot of hits. Um, I think I might actually heal up here. I just want to last to like reinforcements, really. That was a nice hit. Come on, let's get through that one. Come on, bit more damage. Oh, that's a tough ship. Oh my God, so many attacks. Stop hitting. Um. Oh boy, I don't know what to do here. I think I've got to bring in my own hands tooth for a bit of reinforcement for Biggs. Let's put some breach in here. Yes, that's one down. That's a biggie down. Let's put some more protection back there. He's moving, he's shaking. That was a big a AOE there. Um, let's give our bigs a bit more protection. Oh boy, that big whammy is coming soon. Oh no. Oh boy, we have got some work to get through. Oh no, I forgot to bring in Anakin's ship as well. He's an absolute boss against that Millennium Falcon. What a mistake. Right, let's bring in... Dispel some debuffs then. Does it do it on literally all of them? Yes, it does. Give me a big hit here with a assist. That's some nice work. Oh no! Right, let's keep working on this Millennium Falcon. Let's give him some... Oh, there it goes. Boys, we might actually do this. They've got to be running out of reinforcements now. No! Oh, my God. You wouldn't believe how tense I am on this one. Let's get rid of Biggs here and let's heal up our Thai Bomber. Nice job. Let's put in some work here. I don't know what any of these do. Dispel all buffs. And then he stealths. No. Remove 16% tour meter. Target lock. I don't really have a, a use for that at the moment. Oh, boys. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's it's doing work. Uh, let's try and get rid of some buffs. That didn't do anything. Let's bring in our own ghost. I mean, our own phantom. Does this hit through foresight? No, it doesn't. Okay, let's go to work. Uh, let's give him target lock because that's generally a bad thing. Oh boy, they're healing up. They haven't had the big whammy in yet. Oh no, there's a lot of AOEs going in. Don't stitch me up here. Okay, that's one down. 
Uh, let's put some more target lock on the board. Let's heal up ourselves. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Um, let's let him dodge. This one might be going our way, boys. I don't know what that does. Dispel all debuffs. Yep, let's do it. I don't know who I'm targeting. Stealth, there we go. Another reinforcement. How many reinforcements have they got? Right, let's put some breach in here. This has got to be nearly it. Let's put a big whammy in there. Nice. And let's put in some work. We've got 50 seconds. This is probably the longest ship battle I've ever had. Oh, 56 banners. Boys, welcome to Ships 101. If anyone needs a ship coach, let me know. And that should seal the deal. And thank you very much, Momao, for uh, the fight. That really, really sort of pushed me to my limits there. Really, really cleared us no problems at all um we were just a little bit lucky that we saved it i, I genuinely expected darth revan and jedi knight revan on defense so that's why we had a lot of options there on offense and we got really lucky on the ships i'll be honest Don't, didn't have a clue what i was doing there a lot of the time and that is genuinely a very very tough squad as well I think the Geos also would have been horrendous to face. Um, but that one's in the bag, boys. I think that's our first ever Grand Arena win, if I remember right. And it's a shame there's no Zetas on, but the pride is, is what matters. So if you've enjoyed the content, please feel free to leave a like. You don't know how nervous I was going into that one just because I wanted it so badly. And it all came down to ships as well. Um, so thank you very much for watching as well. Please feel free to comment down um, if I could have done better. I really don't have a clue what I'm doing with ships, so please feel free to theory craft in the comments. And if you've enjoyed the content and want to see future videos, please feel free to subscribe as well. It won't cost you anything, and it will bring you up to date with all the latest Galactic Wars. I'll also be running the... Um, we're doing pretty well on our uh, Galactic Republic now. And... Sorry, not Galactic Republic. What are they? Old Republic. So we're doing pretty well on those now. Most guys are pretty close to the 17 and a half. Still a hard farm, long way to go on Karth, but we'll get there. So I'll be recording the Darth Revan and the Malak events as well. So I'm going to try and get them second time round. We've just put a new Zeta on Basti. So that'll be pretty useful now come 3v3s. Um, I'm going to use her, Jahani and old Ben probably as a defensive 3v3 team. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Um, I managed to <laughs> to not put that Zeta and fall in love with Django yet. That's such a luxury Zeta. And we've managed to get as well uh, a shiny. So our, uh, where are we? Sith Empire. I'm all over the place, boys. So we've managed to get our HK up to gear 12 as well right i'm gonna leave it i need to lie down after that one thank you very much for the fight that's been an absolutely fantastic fight and hope you've enjoyed the series as well we'll be back soon with season 17 and let me know in the comments how you guys have got on with yours as well cheers guys have a good evening